is dropping down, but still ranked after an 0-2 start. Losses to Johns Hopkins, as well as Penn last week. And there is Donovan on the pickup. We're underway. And that's an area this year where Georgetown maybe has uncharacteristically struggled a little bit, Earl, where Riley's so dominant the dot, only 50% coming into this game. He won the initial draw right there, Jeremy, but a great play come up with that. Bryce Walker with it. Austin, Texas. There's Dobson, shot, that's a goal. And another quick start for a Georgetown opponent as Dobson puts it away. Goal number one, Notre Dame up 1-0. Yeah, Coach Corrigan uh, told us on Thursday, Eric Dobson's one of the best midfielders in the country. And Dobson, that's what you said, Earl. And you see right here, it's going around Hess. Yeah, not a great angle right there. Not a great angle. Maybe Hank a little bit off his pipe right there. Off stick side shot. Even all family. Another place in lacrosse, other sports as well. Your brother played at Notre Dame. It might have, must have been a heck of a food bill growing up for <laughs> mom and dad. Huh? Here's Chris Cavanaugh. Shots. That'll beat Hinks. And Notre Dame with an early 2-0 lead. Notre Dame goal. So that's going to be Chris Cavanaugh's 10th goal of the season as he beat Hinks. It's just, that's just your typical uh, question mark move, Jeremy. Yeah, he, he gets the six by six right there, turns, fires back right handed. Uh, you guys are blocking my view. Excuse me. Minica's back there. It's a short stick on him, Jeremy. Shot, and that will bounce in, and we were asking for it, and Declan McDermott, his first goal of the season, gets the Hoyas right back in it. This is what Dordovic needs to do, too, Jeremy. Watch this. Got a short stick on him, dodges, he gets to the top side, but then he draws. Finds McDermott open for an easy shot right there. That's a great little two-man game. A lot of rotation right now, too. Run a little bit of triangle up top and then with the attack unit. Look for 31 right here, low right now. And that's in the back of the net as Dobson puts it away. His second of the game, Notre Dame up 3-1. Notre Dame goal. Get a chance to replay that. They get great ball movement by the Irish right here, Jeremy. Swinging it. Seventh of the season for Dobson. Dobson's a big fellow, isn't he? I'd say the, the, again, the very aggressive Irish defense right there. As Declan turned the corner at GLE there, they showed no real look. Notre Dame presence here today. Also, big Hoya presence. A lot of lacrosse fans coming out for a classic matchup. Not the best weather today here <laughs> on Old Hilltop, but uh, we got a huge crowd. Maybe they stayed at the tailgates a little longer than <laughs> normal, but. You gotta get warmed up. McCann, he puts it in the back of the net. Notre Dame up 4 1. He had four goals coming into this season. Coming into this game, I should say. Can't have three last week against Cleveland State. You don't want to do that one, Earl. Hey. And the old field's getting a little slick. Of course, today, with this snow coming down and the temperature right around 40 degrees. Could see some slipping and sliding. Seen a little bit so far, but not too bad. Yeah, we have. Shot, and there's Graham Bundy. He's making himself known as he beats Entman. Top shelf, makes it 4-2. It's a good team offense that time by Hoyas, sharing the ball. A little bit late, number 12, a little bit late on his slide to, to Graham. If you give Bundy that time and room, he's going to bury it. Off stick side, nothing Enderman can do. Too many men on the field for the Hoyas. 
A lot of frustration right now for Georgetown. So after possession changes, yeah, it will not matter because Notre Dame scores anyway. Riley Gray with the goal. 5-2 Notre Dame with just over a minute to go. That's the one thing you don't want to happen there, Jeremy, is have that extra man on the field and then get scored on that. Kind of when he's going to be erased, but to give up a goal when you do have that extra guy on the field really it's kind of double. Bryce Walker. Out of Austin, Texas, going to work on Godin. Stomps on a dime, kicks it back up to the top. Shot, and that's another goal. This time, it's Pat Kavanaugh. We got Kavanaugh playing out front a lot today. I've noticed he's been rotating up top almost as a midfielder right here. You're going to get a look. And just Walker holding up for a while. Just a drive by Walker. But he quickly sees an opening on the opposite side of the field. Great pass over. Five, Bryce Walker. He was able to uh, come back up with that. This would be a huge goal right here. And they yes. get it. And it's Bundy with four seconds to go. Oh, that's a big George goal, Jeremy. Time. Go. The Irish are doing such a great job on the face-offs. They're just swarming the ball. Luckily, that ball went off them out of bounds. Graham doesn't waste any time right here. You know, that 7-7 the seven to seven there really provided a screen for uh, for Entenmann. He didn't really catch and shoot. It's, it's tough. You take a guy like Watson that we had last year was perfect in that situation. Back behind the cage, Pat Cavanaugh. Feeds in front, sets over top of the net as Richiara Deli had a wide open look. Couldn't put it on Cage. He'd love to have that one back. That was a perfect feed. And that's in the net as Riley Gray's second of the game and extends the lead back out to four. And Gray coming yeah. off in. Yeah, get the short stick match up behind. Exactly an easy goal there. No, it's pretty bad. <laughs> game. He's given up three goals. He's made three saves, so hasn't seen a lot of shots, all things considered. To the top, wide open look, and that's a goal. Way too easy as Tevlin puts it away. It's first of the game. Notre Dame up by five. Notre Dame goal. Yeah, well, he's packed in a little bit there, Jeremy. Packed in a little too much. They couldn't rotate back out to get to the shooter. Here you see. See the Hoyas? Everybody's low. Somebody missed an assignment up there, Jeremy. They should have been down there. Eager to go. The others. Before Georgetown got a few late goals to pull away. Kavanaugh to Kavanaugh. Chris with it now behind Cage. Slide comes. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Dobson. Oh, that's the short sick matchup. He's going to go here. Gets loose, and he scores. Spun off as Eric Dobson with a hat trick. A junior from Florida. It's another one on the board. Now Notre Dame up 9-3. The thing that really stands out here, you can see the replay. Look, once he draws the short sick, Jeremy, he said, yeah, I'm going. So he's going to drive high, rolls back. It's off a great shot and sticks in. I'm, I'm, I'm so sort of impressed so far with Notre Dame's Notre Dame's goal. Dame look out, Jeremy. We're not a bunch of... Richie Ardelli basically of how to play with the Kavanaugh's, and he's really giving credit to one of his players who unable to play, but kind of lending his knowledge to a youngster to help make the team better. And that's up top. Westland, pass. Six seconds to go on the shot clock. Westland will get it back. He's got to shoot. Puts it in front, Sam with one second to go, beats the shot clock, and a flag goes down as Richie Ardelli finally puts it away. Yeah, Richie Ardelli just fits in so well with both the Kavanaugh brothers. 
excuse me, I think there's Kavanaugh on the, on the score. It was. It was Chris Kavanaugh with the goal, make it a 10 3 game. Now, a slash called as well. On the crease. Dobson thought about it. Move it around again, and this time Hinks makes the save. As Notre Dame with a good look, unable to put it away, it was Fulton Bayman. Yeah, that's a shot that you'll give him, honestly, Jeremy. Low angle. Not a great high percentage shot, especially when you're extra man. Bayman, really in that top group. Right now, Kevin Corgan can has the luxury to get a few more guys in. Maybe something he didn't think he'd be getting in this game. You know, looking at his first couple games, he, he ran more than 25 players. Uh, I mean, both were one-sided. It's a big goal. There's Dordovic finally puts himself on the board, makes it a 10-4 to four game. So the Hoyas getting a little momentum. George Maybe Notre Dame goal. kind of finally losing track the top guy for the Hoyas. A little slip, you, you see that slid to the ball, Jeremy, but the, the, the key when you slide is that second and third slide. There was late to the ball right there from front. Simmons shoots off the side of the net. It's gonna get a reset too on the shot clock. Chris Cavanaugh brings it back in. Top. Tevlin, and that's off the stick of Simmons. And Tominovich and Hinks run into each other. And this is a classic scrum. Who'll come up with it? Hinks can't get it in a wide open net. And a flag goes down. And a player down in front as well. This could be a lot to sort out here. As it looks like Chris Cavanaugh is down. He took a big hit in front. Hinks got out of his goal to try and grab the ball, didn't. A Notre Dame player quickly threw it in front, made for an easy goal. And it looked like Chris Cavanaugh got tattooed. So 11-4 as we catch the replay here. You, you, sir, you said it just right. It was a big scrum right here on the side. Again, you think he's going to come up with it. Kavanaugh with the assist. Chris Kavanaugh with the goal. Flag goes down. Doing a Globetrotters routine right now. That will go over top of the cage. You gotta like Richie Ardelli. Kind of that little flip pass right from in yeah, front of the cage. That was pretty. Just moving it around, making the Hoyas run in front on the doorstep and can't get much easier than that as Wesleyan puts it away, makes it a 12-4 game. You know, on the last EMO that they had, you could see, I could see 31 sitting down there right on GLE because you have Dobson just opposite of him up top and he's going to bring that guy out to him. They, he's going to draw the attention. That's just good ball movement, good patience by Notre Dame, great ball movement by their extra man unit. You could almost see it coming. That's a, just a tough matchup for a midfielder. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter as McCann slips, gets back up, and he still scores anyway. Quinn McCann's second of the game, his sixth of the season. And Notre Dame has blown this one wide open. They lead it 13 to four, under a minute to play in the third quarter. Play here, Earl slips down, still reestablishes, and we go right to goal. They've really used that that alley today, Jeremy. That that little alley. I mean, the defense would use or Enton's been there to stymie things. Down to ten. It's McDermott. Can he get his hands free? He does, and he bounces one into the net. So second of the day for McDermott, his first two goals of the season.
got a little bit of life as uh, Indiana Trail 13.5. I'd like to see that more from McDermott there. I mean, up top, he just goes real aggressive on his drive. Puts his foot on the ground right here, boom. Goes. Goes overhand, bounce away. That's a great shot. I'd like to see more of that. I mean, it's really a, a good move. Talking this week to Kevin Corrigan, we were kind of asking about his father, the legendary ACC commissioner, Gene Corrigan, and kind of gave us some stories about his dad. And one of them was talking about as the chance here, and this is a point blank shot and a goal as Richie Ardelli. And right now, just Notre Dame has the Hoya defense a bit discombobulated, Earl. Yeah. Notre Dame goal. It's an easy look right there. Let me see it again. Sharing the ball. Take a good shot, take a better shot. That's always the was the thought of when you talk to coaches and talk to players and they talk about the difference in the speed of the high school game to the college game. Sure. That felt like Ray thought he had a lot more time than he did to make that shot. And he'll learn that, Jeremy, as a freshman. I mean, that, that was one of the strengths last year of a few of our players, especially like Dylan Watson. He had such a quick release. You know, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. And that's something that young kids don't practice enough. They practice in their backyard and they crank up. It's, it's not how the game's played. It's, you really have to have a quick release. Shoot on the run and a quick release when you do catch the ball. Now Kevin Corrigan getting some new faces on. And that's a goal as Riley Gray now has a hat trick to join Dobson. It makes it a 15 to five game. Notre Dame goals. Notre Dame has been so good today. Looking very deserving of that second ranking in the nation. Again, this is a great placement on his shot. Boy, is almost, and they will create the turnover. A good job there by Carroll. A little hustle, then Bowen picking it off on the back end. Chance here, and another save by Antman. This time he robs Minicus. Minicus had more time there than he thought, Jeremy. You know, he really could have taken. And an open net leads to a goal for Bundy. So one of the few miscues for Notre Dame yeah, on honestly. the game. Goal. So Bundy's first goal of the game. Or second game, goal of the game for Bundy, I should say. Yeah, Bundy's a little gimpy coming off the field too, Jeremy. Here's that, here's that last play. One of the few mistakes that the Bundy's made today. Correct myself for the third time. That is like nine saves on the day, 60% on his saves, allowed just six goals. And, and just a fantastic job on the clearing game, too, Jeremy, as I mentioned earlier. Hess comes back up with it, and he beats Zepp for a goal. What a play by Dylan Hess as he loses it, gets it back, and beats the goalie to make it 15 to 7. And Hess will see if he gets a little more run on the offensive end. So at this point, Kevin Warren's looking for some goal scorers, but here's a fantastic play. Puts it into the strains of Freebird. Of course, he's from the Jacksonville, Florida area. Big on. They have a big fundraiser and go out and try and find folks just, you know, to get tested to see if they match on blood marrow. But imagine to do that, to miss a game, to try and save people's lives. That's pretty big stuff there as Krogan puts it away. The freshman scoring again. First of the game, second of the season. We'll make it 15-8. I mentioned earlier, that's what Krogan does really well. He's got great wheels. Look at this little split right here, Jeremy. Switches hands to the left, gets to the, as we call it, the paint for a great shot. You know, <laughs> you're a cold goalie coming in to the game and you haven't really had and boys take it away. Alpert will heave it down the field. Ball, Dordovic takes the shot. Zep makes the save. Might have come after time anyway. 
Yeah, that will do it. Yeah, it's Notre Dame with an impressive 15 to 8 win. Earl, your final thoughts? Well, again, you said it right, Jeremy, though. 0 3. Tough game coming up against Princeton next weekend. The Warriors just need one to get back on the track. We'll try to do it against Princeton next week. Our next broadcast with you will be in two weeks against Richmond. So that'll wrap it up from here in our nation's capital.